Today we're in West Virginia at America's most haunted asylum. I won't even turn off or stop. stop. I literally Alex, stop. stop. Seriously. Do any of you have a name? Gabrielle. I was in this really small confined room. It felt like almost like a closet. It was really dark and I had a flashlight and I don't know why, but I was turning it on and off really slowly like you literally described my dream to a T. That is phenomenal. I'm gonna cry. And we have to try this. Chris, <laughs> you know what this means, right? We have Who to... was in here in your dream? Me. Well, Chris, welcome to your new tomb. We gotta do were... that tonight. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm like not okay, because I'm sorry, I was freaking out. Um, that's horrifying. Um, that's horrifying. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Are you okay? No, I'm like, I'm not okay. I'm really scared now. Hey, if my dream comes true, I'm gonna shit my pants. Are you okay? No, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm what happened? I'm Wait, scared. Though. What happened in your dream though? Like, if you don't want to, what no, happened in your dream? No, I don't think I should say anything yet. Okay, well, so you're gonna go in there. No, yeah, I'll you do dream. what I did and it'll be fine. I have maybe, I don't know. In this series, we are driving to the most haunted locations. That was weird. That was weird. What did you see? Um, something on the right. Yep. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Pulled in? <laughs> yeah. Pulled in the way we're going? Yeah. Kind of? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. way. Cool. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I went this way. Yep. So Elena and I saw somebody walk over here. Hi. Wait. If uh, we just saw you walk over here, can you make a noise for us? Eh? Eh? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, you know? Terrible. That's just terrible. She's gonna be here all alone. We have the um, the rem rope. We have the Alice box, and Christina had a terrifying dream, so we're gonna see, we're gonna be in the hallway, and if you need us, you yell for us, okay? Okay, why do you look scared, but like? Because I'm really scared. Okay. He's using it for light, not for? You'll see. I'll see, oh God. Was light red in your dream? Uh, technically there was none, but I just think, uh, the cameras need to be able to see me. Yeah? Set a timer, set a timer for, for five minutes. <laughs> Someone was on the other side of the door, and I don't know why, but I kept turning it on and off and on and off, and I, I had to have done it like, like 15 or 20 times, and the last time I turned it off, and then I turned it on, and this huge, dark figure was in front of me, and as soon as I saw it, I just turned away like this, because I didn't want to look at it. And I could, I could just feel it looming over me. And I don't remember, it said something. I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was something like look at me or turn around. It wanted me to see it. And I didn't want to see it. So I kept my head like this and I could just feel it getting closer and closer and closer until I could feel its breath on my ear. And then I was about to turn around and then Selena opened the doors and then the light came in and there was nothing there. If there's anybody here with me, you can use the Alice box to talk to me. There's a light rope that you can step to. 
if you're in here as well. Is there anybody in here? <gasps> did... Night. Did you... Drown and... Night. Did you drown? Is that how you died? Can you tell me your name? If you're in here, you can step by that light rope to let me know. I just want to be able to tell your story. Leader. Leaded. Oh, leaded. 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 I'm not sure what you mean by that. Thank you for talking to me. I'd really like to know if you're the one that I saw in my dream. You can show yourself to me if you want. If you have a name, I'd love to know it. Empath. Empath. I'm an empath. Are you an empath too? I just, I'm here to help you. Tick. Did you spend a lot of time in here? Is that what you're alluding to? Did you spend a lot of time in this cage? Built. Built. Were you locked in here? Is your name Ed? Were you stuck in here? Are you the one I feel behind me? I didn't touch the flashlight. Do you have anything else that you want to tell me? Wisdom. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm like, can I feel like I'm like. <laughs> yeah, you're good, you're good. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you want to keep yeah. going? No, no, I think we're okay. It ended on wisdom, which I think is good. What happened? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even know. I got a name though, and his name is Ed. Ed. And he's, he, he was in here with me. 
and I like felt something behind me. Did the rope go off? The rope didn't go off. So he's just in here. He was in here with me. Okay. He was in here with me and I asked him to show himself to me because in, in my dream, I, I, but in my dream, he showed himself to me, but I was too scared to look at him. So I was looking away. Okay. So I was, I was like this the whole time and that's kind of how I was. And in the dream, I was turning the flashlight on and off. Okay. And then you came and opened the door in my dream as well. Meet. Meet, as in? He met you. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um, Hi, that was fucking terrifying, but I'm glad I did it. And okay. thank, thank you, Ed. Okay. Timothy. Timothy. Okay, bye, Ed and Timothy. See you. <laughs> Well, friends, welcome to your new tomb. We got you next, right? Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm not out of things. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm not out of things. Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm not out of things. Okay. Anyway, sorry, out of things. The door just opened out there. The door just opened out there. Oh, um, Shelly just heard a door out here is why I had oh, stepped cool. out. Oh, <laughs> cool! Um, Chris, they know you're here. Shut up! <laughs> they know she's here. But yeah, as oh far God, as it was that door. This one right here? Yes. Like, was it? No, it was a squeak when you first the opened squeak, it. Like the squeak, like that. The handle. Yes. You heard it? Yes. Um, and I'm I just like, because I was talking. This, is, this <laughs> is third floor, right? Yes. 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 Second most haunted floor, right? Okay. Uh, depending on who you ask, but yeah, a lot of people would. So agree for with you that. though, yeah. What is you, this the most say? haunted floor for you? No. Okay. What's your most haunted? Fourth. Floor. Violent men's ward. Um, a lot of violent type of behavior, depending. A lot of times you don't, you didn't know was it a traumatic brain injury kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but typically you had to have things a little bit more secure. And if you notice at the end of that hallway, that doorway shrinks down. On right. all the other, all the other wards, you noticed it was completely the same all the way down. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. I'll oh, show you. <laughs> spicy. When oh yeah, these are big these, doors. Yeah, these are men, it's like larger gym. men. Um, they did have female nurses on this ward. Um, oh, wow. A lot of times they were easier to manage oh. uh, with females because the, the men typically would kind of hold back when they came to the females. So they okay. would kind of hold back a little bit. So they did have female nurses here. Hmm. When you see these little flat doorknobs, not like those, but the little... We just passed them all. Yeah, back that way. Yeah, at least seclusion. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. The flat doorknobs are called safety doorknobs, and that was something so they couldn't like tie a sheet to it and then shut their door and you know keep staff out right. or hurt themselves on it. Wow. Okay. So you see that a lot in these types of words. These are seclusion cells. Right. Oh. So like isolation, like, um, yes. What's the word I'm looking for right now? Uh, Sol so it's solitary. like solitary, solitary, solitary confinement. confinement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would have a lot of, like when they would get a little too violent to handle, they would put them into the more solid wood, like these are heavy wooden doors, these are heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Don't pull it all the way shut. Why is it so cold in here? Must be nice. That's What's a on good the floor? Question. That's a very good question. How cold is it? Did you see the name card on, on the, the top floor? of the door? <laughs> Probably for shit. Who's Susie? Yeah, who's Susie? What were you at? Jim W. Who's Susie? Susie? Yeah. Oh, that was put in there when they had to cover that up after they closed the building now. Ah. What is it? A that was hole? a drainage. Oh. Um, for shit. <laughs> so these wards weren't quite as bad, these rooms. Um, down this hallway, typically staff would have to have, there would be, all of these doors would be closed to be able to get these guys into oh solitary. My God. Because <gasps> on the cells on the side, you'll find iron loops on the walls where they would be chained. Oh, oh whoa. That's terrifying. And whatever you do, don't shut yourself up in one of those because they self-lock and we can't get you out. <gasps> oh Rest in peace, Selena. Holy, dude. <laughs> That's wild. Well, Another neat thing is if you look at this door right here, oh, yes. um, it's actually wood, but it's painted to look like it is metal, like oh. the others, wow. to kind of deceive patients and lessen the attempt of busting the doors down. Because, right. yep, are you going to point that out, Shelly? Just from punching it repeatedly. <gasps> damn. Oh, damn, don't hurt you. Is that metal? <laughs> This is, yes. this is, oh, this is metal. Damn, that's yep. metal? Knuckles, yep. <laughs> That'd <Jeez>. be me. <laughs> Holy moly. That's wild. 
And like Shelley had said when we were coming over here, um, this wasn't nearly as feared to, of a ward to work in as what the violent female ward was. Interesting. And it's because the women were smarter about it. They would plan and they would plot and they were patient were smart, and like they would wait you for guys, the opportune though, time. Jay and Taylor, um, super smart, but like in general. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, talking. I mean, the, you know, the women had what they had was time. So sure. they used that time to, yeah. you know, make sure that their their plan was going to be executed the way they hopefully wanted to. Maybe escape or, you know, seek whatever results they were trying right. to see, get from all that. So. A lot of times, nurses would walk back to back down the hallway to watch <gasps> each other's back. Oh my God! Like this? Wait, like, let's do it. Literally, like, yep. Let's, yep. Wait, back up. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly That's, that's wild. terrifying. And then if there be me and Selena. <laughs> yeah, me and Selena just <laughs> running out of them. <laughs> Are you excited? I am. I'm nervous. I'm yeah, I'm nervous and excited. We definitely have some spots we know now. Yeah. Where we gotta go. I have no doubt that we're gonna get a lot for sure. I feel it in my bones. Oh, did you see? What was that? What you what was what? Sleeping noise? I didn't hear. You heard I didn't catch noise? it either. I didn't catch it. Oh no! If you heard something, I believe it, man. I mean, same. I believe you. Like, yeah. I just didn't catch it. What, did, what was it? What was it like? Somebody literally sweeping? No, no. Oh, like almost like a slithering. I mean, we've had like or like a dragging, like maybe something like a body dragging across the floor. <laughs> Jay's like, I know exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> Is there a morgue in here? Um, not in this building. In the medical center, we had a morgue. So. Oh, wow. And then we have three cemeteries on the property. So definitely a lot of deaths over the years of operation. <sighs> that was weird. It gets very intense over there. Yeah, no, it's just weird. It just definitely the, can just have the, uh, a very heavy feeling, a very draining energy. <laughs> what are you doing? Get that camera out of my face. What are you Get out of here. I'm having a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. You all right? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just freaked out with the whole dream thing and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, it that's, happens. That's I, I'm weirded out every time it happens. It happens to her a shit ton too, and we're just like, it's got you. This is your place. We're um, you're awakened. I've gotten some feelings, but you're like, I can feel it off of you. Yeah, yeah. We like kind of like, it's like we come together and we're like this ball of something paranormal energy. That's just, awesome. Like, amplify it. Some would say it's awesome. Some would say it's. Mm. I gotta, I've had such a tummy ache the whole time I've been in here. Yeah. Like, um, pain, which is weird. Instead of like a tummy ache, it's like a, it's actual tummy like pain. Almost like a stabbing, like almost. Yeah, yep. right, like in here. Mm -hmm. um, typically when I have had that happen, it's usually down in the Civil War area. Mm. Um, when I first started here 10 years ago, I couldn't walk all the way down to that area without doubling oh, over in wow. pain. Oh, wow. Um, eventually, you know, I learned to coexist with the spirit down there that doesn't like me. Sure. Um, but that's also the same one that has wiped out my SD cards and things like that, like right. I talked about. Yeah. So. Careful, careful. Ooh. That one got me. <laughs> okay. Um, Wait. We're the only ones in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you see somebody? Someone fully walked, walked right across. Don't like, know. man walked right across oh that, like, God. lit up area, like, full person. Oh What's God. there? That, that ward was the violent female ward, and then the next one over was the violent men's ward. Oh. So okay. those a were dude, the violent wards. A dude just walked, like, 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 fully, full pace, like, really weirdly, like, strides, like, and then was just gone. Was it, it was like apparition or shadow figure? Black. Like solid black just, shadow figure? I can't even remake it. I thought maybe, no. It's funny you say <sighs> that because just last week, um, we had some staff that came down and got me and asked me to come up here because they had seen a very large, what they believed was a male shadow figure going back and forth right here down this hallway. Just oh, no yep. way. And they had me come up here and sit here and kind of watch dude, down that dude. Dude. I just, oh it was God. like clear, so, like thick She's black. Like, like, she sees stuff like, what's nobody's. that? Big Jim, right? Big Jim? Oh, right, Big Jim. Oh, that's big. I don't oh. like that name. I don't like that name. Nope. Pretty much just doctor's apartments um, on this end. Um, as you can tell, they lived a little bit more, a little easier than the nurses did. Yes. Things were a little bit easier here. Um, they would have resided here, some of them in the early years especially. Um, after that, it was pretty much they had homes in the area. Was it all male doctors? Or Not all the time. Some? Okay, there were some the female doctors yeah. as well. It wasn't as common, especially right. early years, yeah. but like it wasn't as common. Right. 
And in the uh, very early years, this would have been staff housing. The entire fourth floor would have been staff oh, okay. housing. That's down. Um, yeah, so, and then we did transition to patient wards later, right. which were used as alcoholic and drug rehab wards, so. Got it. It was also visitors, because yes. they could pay a couple bucks mm. at the information desk and then they could stay the night here. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're going to we're going to go down this side first, because um, I want to show you guys all of this floor. Yeah, of course. So the really, um, the really active area of this side of the fourth floor is over here in Ward R. So I'm going to take you guys over there first. Um, it is definitely known to be the more intense area of the building for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I personally like R a lot. It can be very, very active and yes, it can be very intense, yeah. but if you can kind of relate to this particular spirit, yeah. then he's known to be, you know, very active, make a lot of noises, um, even show himself usually rocking back and forth in the window at the end of the ward. So this is one of my favorite areas to investigate. I don't know why, but my arm hurts a lot right now, which is really weird. That is weird. I feel nervous. <laughs> like, I never I, really I have nervous. Like, like a shooting pain down my arm right now that I've never had before. <laughs> Might just be my body, but I don't know if that's correlated to anything. <laughs> I'm, I belong in the geriatric ward. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, whoever has to, okay. we'll talk about it later. Somebody's gotta be up here by themselves, man. No, man. <laughs> So this is Ward R, and it is known to be one of the more intense areas of the building, of the main building. Yeah. It does make a lot of people uncomfortable, mm -hmm. um, staff as well, not just guests. Uh, they get a lot of emotions up here, everything from fear to anger to just anxiety. Yeah. A lot of the time when we're up here, if you watch the end of this ward, there is a circular window, and if the lights are out, you can see a shadow figure rocking back and forth. If you think of that window as a clock and watch between about three and six o'clock, then you will almost always see him rocking back and forth. Um, I have had the doors up here close themselves by themselves before. A um, lot of different shadow figures, a lot of different um, disembodied voices. Myself and one of my guides were up here one night and we were standing probably about from myself to Selena and we heard just a very deep male just like right in between us. Um, captured it on auto, audio. Um, very cool Jeez. piece of evidence. We've had what sounds like running on the ceiling up here. So, um, but like I said, this, this ward is notorious for giving you that ick feeling, yeah, that gross it's feeling. It's more like evil. Um, a, a lot of people Just say it's dark. This guy, um, in my opinion, he is a very private spirit. He, okay. a lot of the times, you have to kind of give him the time and the patience to get him to communicate sure. with you. But he is notorious for if he picks up on your fear, he's going to use it to get you out of his house. Oh. <laughs> um, I get along with this dude really well. Um, but like I said, I've spent a lot of time just kind of getting to know them, which with this building, you know, respect and understanding goes a really long way. Yes. Because, you know, a lot of these patients may not have realized why they were here. For sure. And, you know, like I personally try to relate to them with, you know, different, like my anxieties and my depression, things like that, sure. that might help you to relate to them and let them open up to you a little bit more. Yeah. So it's definitely, you know, uh, way different than investigating a prison or something like that. And if you feed into the fear for this ward, it, it'll, it'll mess with you yeah. for sure um but if you have the 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 gum you know the umph to kind of yeah. stay here with it then um he's he's really cool spirit to talk okay. to if you can get on and his what's good his side. name sorry? he does not have a specific name let's ask um, him but a lot of people do refer to him as the creeper oh How, it's the creeper however um if you think about that, if someone comes into your house and calls you calls, something that's like a mean. creeper, that's so negative. It's going it's to yeah. upset you. No. So um, we were coming. I was coming through here one day on a daytime tour and had the phantom smell of fresh baked brownies. It was really odd. Love that. Um, so I came up and I was like, "Where is this coming from?" Even had the daytime manager at the time come up and I was like, "Didn't even say anything." I said, "What do you smell when you walk in here?" Yeah. Um, gave it time to dissipate, thinking maybe somebody hit a vape in here that they shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah. Um, it never dissipated. So I. I finally um, just kind of nicknamed him Brownie because I asked him, I said, is that, you know, do you like brownies? I went down and got him one, put it in one of the closets. I was like, this is for you. Would you like me to like call you that from now on instead of what people call you? And we heard a knock on one of the doors. Okay. So that's what I just, it's a nickname for him. It's not his actual name. So yeah, like I said, this ward, it can get intense. If you get really feeling uncomfortable, really sick, you know, go over to the other side, give yeah. me some space. Okay. But, but yeah, if you get over here and are feeling all right, definitely give it some time and see if, you know, what you can get over here. Sounds so. good. Sounds good. All right. In front of me is the patent pending Infinity Deck, patent pending to Spooky AF Productions.
all my friends here. Um, something that I created that I thought could be a really great instrument. It uses intuition and it uses uh, questions. So you guys are gonna ask me the questions. The goal here is to find out. They have called you creeper, which I agree seems like a really not very fair term because this is your home. The other woman calls you brownie, but I think today we wanna find out your name or a little bit more about your story. I'm just gonna take 30 seconds to try and like really connect and then you guys feel free to start asking questions. Okay, we wanna know uh, who's here with, with us right now. Is it, um, is it Brownie or the Creeper? Yes. Thank you for talking to us. We wanna find out more about you, so can you tell us um, I guess it has to be yes or no questions. I don't know. If you guys think of questions too, feel free, feel free to ask. Are you in the, are you in the hallway with us right now? Yes. Amazing. Thank you for being here with us. Um, do you like or sorry, do you not like the name Creeper? Has that been really negative for you? No, so no it hasn't. Maybe it's because it's just not his name. Um, uh, Brandy calls you Brownie. Is that because you, you do like brownies? Were you giving her a sign that day? Yeah, okay, that's great. I like brownies too. I think everybody here does. Um, was it a negative experience being in this ward? Were you a patient in this ward? Yes, okay. Are you a negative spirit? No. And I feel like Selena and I have, have felt that as soon as we came in here. I feel like you're misunderstood. Are you, are you stuck here? Yes. I'm sorry that you're stuck here. Feel free to show yourself to us or make any noise if you want to make yourself known. Have people seen you before? No. So when I asked you if, you were, if the creeper name bugged you, was that because I was talking about something else? Yes. This is making more sense now. So I think that Brownie is a more positive spirit and he's been misconstrued as a more negative spirit. So, is the creeper keeping you here? Yes, like he's trapped. Is the creeper an inhuman spirit? An inhuman entity? Yes. Are we talking to the creeper at all? Is he coming through or is it just brownie? So are we, are we speaking to the creeper? Yes. Okay, I feel a switch. I feel like we were talking to brownie and now the creeper is coming through. Did you manipulate any of the answers for That's us? There's a cold breeze going out my back. Cold breeze? Have you manipulated any of the answers? Or were you the one that said Diablo down in the, down in the um, double murder room? I don't know. I feel like he's such a manipulative like trickster. Do you like to scare people? No, of 
Question. Chris is going to be alone in this hallway with you. <laughs> do you, do you ha like that? Yeah. Do, do you like the fact that I'm going to be alone in the hallway with you? Stop. What does that mean? Are you going to be nice to her? Oh, guys, I'm not cool with that, bro. That's not cool, man. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared now. Can I have a light? <laughs> Originally, I was going to do this in the dark, but I'm going to have a light with me now. Um. Oh, really, Taylor? Why don't you just come up Wait, here with ask. the paper? <clears throat> Should Chris bring a light with her? It was yes and no up till the very end. Yep. Yep. Now it's being just so like forward and like stop. Don't ask again. We have a couple questions left. Okay. Um Do you like um women? Can you, are you stuck here? I wanna make sure he can, he has to stay here. Or it has to stay here. Okay, I'm feeling not okay with this now. You even said before that the creeper has been found in more places than one. Right, right. So it's not stuck in this one location. So technically it could be with any of you. Is it going to be with anyone other than Chris? <laughs> Three more questions. Are you going to keep Chris safe while she's here alone? Am I going to be safe here in the hallway alone? Oh my god! Wait, you have one last, ask it again. Am I gonna be safe here alone? And we can't! Oh, ask don't... again, don't ask again, ask again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so scared now, I wasn't even that scared and I'm really scared. This is really fucked. This is really it's fucked. nothing but yes or no until the very I end. I know. What the fuck? You know what the messed up thing is? I made a maybe. What? I made a maybe. And it's not in there. Okay, so what are we... Are you doing this alone? Or what are we doing? To be honest, I'm being a little right now. and I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. This side of the fourth floor is probably my personal favorite, a lot of people's, partly because of these old wooden floors. They are phenomenal for hearing footsteps compared to the cement floors on the other levels. Um, Doorknobs rattling, um, mimicking of voices. You may hear me up here later. I'm not gonna be up here. Okay. Um, I will be, you know, out of the way unless you guys need me. Yeah. So if you hear me talking, it's not me, I promise. You have a mimic, <laughs> like there's mimics. Yes, yes, we get a lot of doppelganger activity. Yeah. So um, they like to mimic our voices, especially. Um, I have heard daytime tours coming when there were no tours coming. Wow. Um, all kinds of things like that. What kind of people were housed here? At one time, staff housing, and then later it was transitioned into patient ward. Okay. And then this would have been, this was the alcoholic side, right, Shelly? Yes. Um, this room right here is one of our more popular rooms right here behind me. This is Frank and Larry. Oh, Frank and we Larry. heard about oh. Frank and Larry. <laughs> we heard about them. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's up? Yes, these are the <laughs> ghosts. As you can see, they like playing cards. Me um, too. You know, I, we brought them some poker chips there not too long ago. This is a really fun area on this floor. Um, cool. They are ornery. They like dirty jokes. Um, they like girls. <laughs> um, 
This so, is our room. Yeah, you guys will have fun up here. Um, it's always a good <laughs> time up here. Yeah. Uh, definitely K2's, Spirit Box, um, okay. like I said, a little bit of everything goes sure. well up on the fourth floor here. A lot of the time, if you're sitting out in this hallway, you will hear footsteps coming up and down the hallway. If you ask them to do shaving a haircut, if you do all except for the last two knocks, usually you will get those last two knocks produced by the ward itself. Okay. Not every time, but you know, it's always a fun trick to kind of get it started. Um, ask them if they want to play cards. Ask yeah. them if they want to play poker. Strip poker. Um, don't actually strip for them. Do not let them manipulate you like we that. We talked about it. We're like, <laughs> I mean, it's your show. But, um, but yeah. Go to Patreon. <laughs> get the extra footage. But yeah, that is definitely um, you know, a way to get these ornery guys kind of communicating with you is, you know, be, have fun, you know, have a okay. good vibe, a good energy about you cool. and this ward will produce. Um, okay. This is, cool. we love that. Yes. We love it. Yeah. It's yeah. way better. And, unless, like I said, it wants to just make me look like a fool, which it has done. Um, but like I said, hopefully for you guys, and I think it'll really like your energy, your vibe, cool. um, your attitude and everything. So I think you guys will get some really good stuff from up here. Awesome. Frank and Larry, let's party. Um, Frank and Larry, most of the time communicate, they prefer blondes and redheads. Um, <gasps> I'm, blonde, I'm a natural She's ones. literally a blonde. I just dyed my hair red. So. This closet and that closet, they'll typically kind of tap around in those closets to give you their responses, and sometimes they will move the cards a little bit. Okay. They do that on daytime tours. Oh my oh, gosh, no <laughs> way. Okay, cool. Do you have to close the closets for no. that to happen? Okay. No, they'll just, just tap on it. the little pipes in the okay, closet. Okay, cool. We'll play some cards later. So another thing you might hear a lot of up here is this. Okay. Like that rattling of those doorknobs. Door jiggling. That happens a lot. Um, and then... Uh, what a lot of us like to do is we'll <gasps> set up in the middle of the ward. Uh, what a lot of us, uh, what a lot of us, uh, what a lot of us. Oh my god, just, I just heard exactly what you did, but in there. <gasps> that was so scary. <laughs> it was like, I, I just did this when you walked by, I was just like this. I, I was like, and then I heard, did, would you go that one? Yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. Dude. Hey, Ward T. I brought some new friends. Can you make a noise for us? Ooh. Immediately. Did you hear that? Oh, yep. Do it again. <laughs> I heard it. Can you make a louder noise for us, please? <gasps> Dude, <laughs> did you hear Wait, it? Did you hear it? One more time. One more time. Third time's the charm. It's getting low. Yeah. All right, Ward T. Give me the loudest noise you got, and I'm gonna bring you up a cigarette before I leave tonight. Ready? What's the ticking? The floor. It's just the floor. Can you do it? Give me a real loud thud, please. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> you got it. I owe you a cigarette. Dude, you're gonna be alone. <laughs> I'm on my all my. Pores are open right now. Oh, man. Pores are open. My ass is open. I need a cigarette. Yeah, yeah, give me, yeah. Oh give me a Marlboro light. You're, this, you're a smoker by the time you leave. So. Love that. Wow. But yeah, so it's this, like the darkest, but the most. The most fun. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like that side's dark and this side's like lit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Crazy. And then that'll let Shelly kind of go back into some of the historic stuff for the Violent Wards. Because I'm really shiny right now, Shelly. <laughs> yeah. It sounds I like somebody's walking cat. behind I heard, me. I heard, yeah. No, I literally, I, I like felt the ground. I was like walking like this and it sounded like somebody was like, I heard like a heavy stomp as well. <laughs> I, heard. I heard a whimpering. Okay, like, you whimper can follow cat. us tonight, but you just gotta be nice about it, okay? Don't touch my ass. Uh, okay, so with the cards saying all that, um, we're still gonna be idiots and split up like the Scooby Doo's gang. Yeah, so on the fourth floor, the most haunted floor of the asylum, Chris, me, and Taylor over here yeah. are going to separate in three different wings. Are you excited? No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> we're going to make him do it anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're all going to be split up on the fourth floor. We're all going to have different devices. I'm going to have the Alice box. Yep, I am going to have the REM rope. And I will have the REM box. And um, Jay's, Jay's going to be, be home base, base right in the middle. Jay's going to be home base right in the middle waiting for all of us. And Filming. If one of us screams, he's got to come running. So where are you taking? I'm going to take where the and creeper and brownie is. And I'm going into the party room, which is, what are their names? Larry. Larry and Frank? Frank and Larry. Yes, yes. Frank and Larry. Okay. And Larry. I'm going to show them my boobs. Great content. And where are you going? 
The other one. The other one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <sighs> oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, shit. oh my god. I think I just saw something. I heard like a laugh. Oh, I heard. Oh. oh. I heard that too. Awesome. <laughs> Come hither, spirit. I'm gonna go to the party room. I'm glad I got the party room. <gasps> oh! Oh, Jay, I'm scared. Jay, I'm scared. It's a bat. It, I know, it looks like your light. I heard you like to party. I know that you like redheads, okay? I know, I've dyed my hair red before, okay? I know I'm not your usual flavor. I'm a, I'm a thicky, but it's okay, it's 2023. What's this? <sighs> <sighs> that's gross. Damn, damn, of course that doesn't work, you idiot. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I can't see anything. This is awful. But there is one thing I heard that you do like, and it's boobs, and that I got a set of. And I was thinking maybe I could show you my boobs, just for you guys. If you want to see my boobs, do you want to make a little knocking sound for me? Guys, I have a fun rope. If you step near it, it's going to light up. Do you guys want to step by that rope? Last night was weird. There was these moments where, I don't know if you have these where like you're kind of asleep, kind of not, and I kept waking up and it's pitch black in this room, like this room is black, and Selena is in the other bed beside me, and for some reason I thought she was standing at the edge of my bed, like looking over me, because sometimes like we play a joke on each other, and I would turn on my light and there was no one there. And she was like asleep facing the other way. This happened about three or four times last night, but every time it happened, it felt like it was getting closer and closer. And like one of my biggest fears is like people being like, like kind of like chasing me or like being near me when they're not supposed to. So I'm hoping that's not a sign of anything because I can't do that. alone. If anybody's in here, I have the Alice box and you can talk to me. Is anybody in here with me? Okay, hold a second, are you right there? <gasps> okay, if you want me to show you my boobs, do that again. I guess you just did it twice. Okay, I'm gonna show my boobs in this closet, okay? Because I don't want the camera to see it. Wait, in this closet. The whole camera. Okay, these are my boobs. You want me to take them out? <laughs> Look at those. Ghost boobs. That was weird. Can you make that little knock noise again? Okay. There's nothing around. If anyone is here with me right now, can you please walk towards the REM pod? Um, can you walk towards the REM pod, please? And uh, it'll flash, it'll make a noise. It's kind of fun, in a sense. Just to let me know that you're here with me. If you like
liked my boobs. Can you make that tapping noise again? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? <laughs> if you think that was a terrible joke, can you please step near this rem rope? Remember how you did it before? Lisa. Lisa? Is there a female entity up here with me? Or is that who had an affair? Did you hurt her? Abused. Abused? You abused Lisa. Is this Brownie I'm talking to? Can you give me a sign? I know I asked before, but do you think I have a nice rack? Can you make a noise if I have a nice rack? Okay, can you make a noise if I have a, a bad rack? <sighs> Wasn't that boob so bad it made you leave? Larry, are you here? Oh my god. There's literally a breeze right now. Okay, guys. The camera wasn't recording the whole time. What was that? We gonna start all over again? Oh my gosh, it just went red. Okay. If there is anyone here with me, can you please walk by the REM pod? I keep bearing something down there. Okay, I'm gonna leave the REM pod here um, in case you wanna play with it. I don't know what it said. Gently. Oh my God, he breathed on me gently. Oh my God, I, I don't know if I can be in here much longer. Anthony. What did he say? Anthony. Is your name Anthony? over there. Can you make a noise if you did? Oh my god. Did you do this also I would show you my boobs again? Are you in that closet over there?
Okay. If you guys want me to show you my boobs one last time, make a noise or touch the rope. Okay, guys, back in this closet. Okay. <sighs> Show them ghosts my boobs. All right, guys. This is them in a bra. Ugh. All right, what do you think of those? my boobs to the ghost. Probably showed my boobs to lots of ghosts, but... Oh my god, it's really cold in here. Oh, this is good. Uh, if anyone is in this staircase, can you please make a noise? Or touch my back? Maybe this would help. <gasps> if anyone is in the staircase, can you please make an audible noise? Did you, Anthony, did you hurt your did you hurt your wife because she had an affair? and you haunt these hallways now? You can't hurt me. I'm done. I'm done. You can't follow me. I'm done. I don't want to be here anymore. Jay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Jay! What? Where are you? <coughs> Was that Taylor? <coughs> Taylor? Are you okay? Good morning. Good morning. We're doing a dream journal. We're going to <coughs> the Transylvania Lunatic Asylum tonight. I dreamt about the asylum like a little bit. But when I did dream about it, we were just running a lot, and then we couldn't find Taylor, and Taylor was screaming. And Taylor, like, it was a dramatic scream. I didn't know if it was, if he was trying to be funny, but then we were like, oh my god, he's not trying to be funny, and then nobody could find him. Taylor, what happened? Taylor? Taylor! I feel like I'm gonna puke. They chased me up the stairs. Where were you coming from? <laughs> Lynn, I can't. Hey. What stairs? They're just right there. And there's like, there's like a gate, and it just, something moved it and kept running up the stairs with me. I don't like being chased. And like one of my biggest fears is like people being like, like kind of like chasing me or like being near me when they're not supposed to. So I'm hoping that's not a sign of anything because I can't do that. Are you guys okay? He's crying. Oh. One of my biggest things is I don't like being chased. Yeah. And I went down the set of stairs, I know I shouldn't have. Oh. But there's like a couple gates down there and it just opened up and it felt like it, I heard someone running up after me. <gasps> and it kept coming, even though I was freaking out, it kept coming until I got up here. Oh my god, are you okay? Oh my god. And then it just felt like I had to barf. Oh my god. I can't. 
Dude, I heard him screaming, and I was oh, like, Oh, I running. heard, I heard, and I, shit was happening where I was, and somebody breathed on my fucking face, and then you screamed, and I was like, no, I- All it, I was doing was showing my boobs to the ghost. Okay. Ooh. Dude, I heard him screaming, and I, the weird thing was, is I felt like I kept running through hallways, and I couldn't get to him, and I was like yelling yeah. for him, but it sounded like he was right in front of me, but he kept getting farther away. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know the stairs were there. Oh, oh my god. Down there. What happened for you guys? <laughs> so, literally answered everything I said. I don't know what it is here, but I, I asked it if something was in there with me, and it said that uh, uh, somebody had an affair. Or is that who had an affair? And I said, oh, is Lisa the one that had an affair? And then it said abused. So I said, did you abuse Lisa? And then I said, like, what's your name? And he said, So okay. it's a, yeah, he like gave me the whole story. So the story. creeper is Anthony. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, and then before he like breathed on my face and I like almost ran out there. Mine might not have been scary, but like the communication of the yeah. tapping in the closets was Ooh, insane. Oh, did it work? Not only that, this camera was recording. So I hit <gasps> it and I was like, did you turn my camera off? Tick, tick, tick. Then I redid and it made me show them my boobs again. <laughs> but here's the thing. There's one thing that I'm really sure of in this place. Yeah. And that is fucking haunted. Oh. It's extremely haunted. And We've like, never had it so accurate through every single room. <laughs> never, never. And, and all the stories were so aligned. Like every everything in here wants wants to talk to you. And you know what's crazy? This is like the first stop on our trip, and it's just gonna get crazier. But I know one thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna get the f out of here. Yeah, Bye. Penitentiary. Isn't that crazy? That was the scariest thing that's ever happened. Yeah. These inmates didn't play by the rules when they were alive. Right. And they sure did now. Some ah! 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 Absolutely nothing can be inside of us, attached to us, or come with us. Should we leave for Jay's safety?